Hi everyone. Today we're going to take a look at the sample configuration from Keyboard Trader called My Little Helper. The intended audience for this demonstration are traders who trade multiple markets with a mouse. As you can see, we're going to uh, show this demo today using uh, T4 from CTS. The way we envision people using this uh, keyboard configuration is as a supplement to your mouse trading. So let's say that, uh, that generally you're using your mouse to click in all these different markets uh, and normally that works pretty well for you, except when the markets start moving fast, uh, when news hits, uh, data releases, uh, opens, closes, all these different things can make markets move very, very quickly. And uh, if you have exposure across multiple markets at the same time, uh, it can be incredibly hard to either reduce your risk or even add your risk if you want to. Okay, so let me show you an example of how you can use this product. So uh, let's say you are clicking into different markets, you're putting in some orders. Uh, in this case, you're trying to uh, start increasing your position size on the first two products. Notice that you're long four here, you're short two here. Uh, let's say you have the same theme going for, the, for these first few products. And uh, I'm gonna put my hand on the keyboard. And uh, let's say some news hits and you realize that you're actually, you actually should not be increasing your your uh, position size across your products, you should actually be decreasing them. You don't want to do so aggressively, but based on the news, you just want to cancel your orders and uh, start liquidating uh, passively. If I press this key over here, watch what happens. It's going to cancel all the open orders and it's going to liquidate a one lot for every product on the inside bidder offer. As you see, the orders were canceled over here. It placed an order to sell one because I'm long. It placed an order to buy one because I'm short and so on and so forth. Now, just like being able to liquidate, you can also add size for all your products at once. Uh, you see these keys over here that say add. Well, if I wanted to uh, cancel the open orders and add size on all my, uh, all my products, I could just push this key over here with my pinky and watch what happens here. Now it's trying to uh, add a one lot here to increase my, uh, my position from three to four. Uh, it's trying to increase my short position, increase my long position, uh, same thing across the board. Now, if instead of using uh, limit orders, you wanted to use market orders, you could just uh, use the larger keys. Uh, and then these keys at the bottom allow you to uh, control the orders that you just placed. So if I wanted to take all my open orders and move them away from the market, let's say I can expect to uh, uh, get some better fills, I can press this button, and this moves the buys down everywhere and the sells up. Or if I uh, want to uh, be a little bit more aggressive, I can push this key. It says towards, and now this moves all the orders towards the market. If I press this key over here, uh, I've programmed this key that says to market to uh, move all the orders towards the market by a large number of ticks so that they execute right away. Now, even if your hand isn't on the keyboard at all times, uh, it can still you know, really help you quite a bit. Uh, let's assume that you're putting in some orders to liquidate your positions. And, uh, you know, let's assume that some kind of news hits and you realize, actually, you know what, you need to start liquidating uh, much faster. So you see this uh, liquidate key. This is, again, a market order, and it will also cancel your open orders. <clears throat> Excuse me, your open orders when you press it. So if I press this key, it's going to cancel open orders and liquidate a one lot. It's going to do it for the other products, too. Now, let's assume that instead of trading uh, eight different products at once, you want to be able to... Uh, turn off a few of these products. Uh, maybe you're happy holding a position in them. Uh, you've been losing money in them and you, and you just want to uh, you know, stop trading completely. Uh, what you can do is uh, turn off a few different products. Uh, the way I did that, I just, I, I just held down this gray key as I pushed the product I wanted to turn off. Uh, you can also turn a product on by holding down the green key and pressing that product. Uh, you want to turn all the products off, you push this key. You want to turn them all on, you push this one. Uh, so as you can see, uh, based on that functionality right there, uh, you can actually have this keyboard work for varied purposes throughout the day. So for instance, let's say you just wanted to uh, trade the energy products. Uh, you could turn them all off except for your energy. And uh, if you had an FOMC event, you could turn them all off except for gold and silver. Uh, again, these products are just uh, not matching the ones that you see on the controller form here just because we're using uh, simulation right now.
Anyway, if you like this configuration and you want to try a demo, uh, just sign up for one on our website or give us a call. Uh, if you're not sure if this exact configuration is perfect for you, uh, but you have a lot of the problems we were talking about earlier where you can't, uh, you can't exit your positions fast enough, you can't uh, add positions fast enough, uh, or even if you're you know, a different kind of trader, like a spread trader or a one product trader, but you're having problems executing as fast as you'd like to, uh, this is our specialty. Uh, so just let us know what some of your problems are and what you're looking to accomplish, and hopefully we can help you. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a great day.